بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is unit 3 uh, reading unit 3 uh, reading but before we do that if you remember our previous lesson uh, the uh, vocabulary building some of the words that we'll be seeing today in our reading lesson the word hub asset nurture cultivate and potential and asset means to be useful or valuable a uh, person or thing hub means the center of the region uh, nurture to care for or help or encourage the development or growth of someone to cultivate it's almost the same to improve or develop by study or training and the word potential means the capacity for uh, growth and we took them in the context of our article today so these are today's objectives for the reading state the advantages of the 2030 vision so today we'll be talking about the 2030 uh, vision of Saudi Arabia, of course. Find the main strengths of the people and the economy. Answer questions about the text. So this is the before reading question, work in pairs. Which do you think are the main strengths of the people and the economy of Saudi Arabia? Read the passage and underline all the positive features about people and the economy. So we'll be talking about the people and the economy of Saudi Arabia, the people and the, of Saudi Arabia and the economy also of the Saudi Arabia. So you will be underlining the positive features about both the people and the economy. So this is the article for today, this, uh, the 2030 uh, vision for Saudi Arabia. We'll be reading it, I'll be listening to it now. So listen, because we'll be answering questions about it later on. So let's listen. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is blessed with a significant wealth of natural resources, an Islamic, family-oriented society and extraordinary opportunities for economic growth. The nation's Islamic faith, national identity, culture and heritage make it special and provide limitless potential for development. The nation is honored to welcome and serve an increasing number of pilgrims and visitors, from across the globe, every year. The expansion of the two holy mosques and the upgrading of services and facilities had helped to cater for 15 million visitors from its development until 2020. These improvements will continue to ensure that all pilgrims are well looked after when they visit. So here the first paragraph you can see it for saying here that the nation's Islamic faith Saudi Arabia's Islamic faith, national identity, culture and heritage is what makes it special and provide limitless potential for development. So what makes Saudi Arabia special? Its Islamic faith, its national identity, its culture, its heritage. This is what makes it special and provide limitless potential for development. So the future is coming, there's a potential in the future is coming for more and more uh, development. So let's get on with the second part of the article here, the people. So now we'll be talking about the people of Saudi Arabia. Let's listen. The people. Saudi Arabia's 2030 vision is largely based on the ambition, determination and talents of its people and their Islamic values. It is important, therefore, for the members of the Saudi society to be supported by social, healthcare and educational systems in order to cultivate and nurture its children in the best way possible to prepare them for a promising future. Cultural and entertainment projects will include the establishment of libraries, galleries, museums and the organization of different types of events and activities. Housing and community development projects will provide a pleasant, secure and sustainable environment for the citizens of the kingdom. An updated educational system will provide high-quality learning and develop available talent and potential. Graduates will have the knowledge and skills required by the job market and access to many opportunities for professional development. So this is the part here about uh, people. I really like the beginning here. Saudi Arabia's 2030 vision is largely based on, it's based on what here? Based on the ambition, determination, talents of its people and their Islamic values. So you can say the vision is based on the people of Saudi Arabia. So 
the 2030 vision is largely based on the ambition, the, de the determination and the talent of its people and also their Islamic values. Therefore, it's important for the members of Saudi Arabia society to be supported by social health care and educational system. Why? To cultivate and nurture children in the best way possible to prepare them for the promising uh, future. To prepare the children for the future. This is the potential here, the children. We are building the future for the children because they have potential. So let's continue with the article here about the economy. About the economy. Let's listen talking about uh, uh, the, the Saudi economy. The economy. The kingdom's economy has great growth potential. A diversified and renewed business environment will offer employment opportunities to all citizens and attract new investors. Improved and updated services and facilities will attract small and large companies, interested in participating actively in a dynamic economy. Telecommunications and information technology will be updated and made available in urban and rural areas. The kingdom's strategic position that connects the waterways of three continents, Europe, Africa, and Asia, will make it a leading trading and transportation port for cargo from different countries across the globe. Streamlined government services will facilitate the introduction of new business sectors and partners and support growth. Investment opportunities will be increased through privatization of state-owned assets and agencies. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will be a leading business hub with limitless opportunities for the development of new talent and creative enterprises. So, as it says here in the second paragraph, you can see that the Kingdom has a, a strategic position in where strategic position that connects the waterways of three continents, Europe, Africa and Asia. So it has its strategic position that it comes in the middle between three continents, Europe, Asia, and Africa. This strategic uh, position gives the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia the potential that will be leading business hub with limitless opportunities for the development of new talent and creative enterprises. So you can say there's a huge potential for the economy and there's a big future for the economy of uh, Saudi Arabia. So here's the reading strategy, scanning for specific information the reading strategy here scanning to scan for specific information so scanning means to read quickly not do, you don't read the whole article word by word no to scan for specific information is to read the article quickly looking for some specific information here sometimes it's necessary to look for specific facts in a text without rereading the whole thing without rereading the whole thing. You don't have to reread the whole article. You just scan for the information. To do this, you run your eyes quickly over the page, looking for specific words or phrases that will probably lead to the information you need. So instead of reading the whole article again, you just scan, you roll your eyes quickly through the article, looking for the information that you want. This is scanning for specific information. So I want you now to scan the text for the answer to the following questions. You should focus on looking for the underlined words and expression in the question. So each question will be having an underlined word. You can scan for this word just to find the information that you are looking for. So the first question, which factors make the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia special? Which factors make the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia special? Again, it says in the, in the article here, you should focus on the looking for the underlined words and expression in the question. So if you want to look, if you want to scan for the answer in the article, look at the underlined word here, the word special, scan the article, look for the word special, then you will find your answer. So the question again, which factors make the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia special? You can scan the text and give me the uh, answer. Okay, let's see the answer for the first one here. What, what factors, more than one factor, makes the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia special? Yes, it's nations, uh, it's nations the, Islamic, uh, the nation's Islamic faith, national identity, culture, 
and heritage as i mentioned before it's a national uh, it's islamic faith national identity culture and heritage this is what uh, this is some factors of uh, uh, what makes uh, saudi arabia special the second question here how many visitors notice the word visitors how many visitors were expected throughout the year 2020 so how many visitors were expected throughout the year 2020 you can scan the text for the word visitors so let's see the answer here 15 million if you scan the text for the word visitors you can notice the e answer the third question here what is saudi arabia's 2030 vision based on it's based on what you can scan the text for the word based on so let's see the answer here it's based on the people's islamic values their ambition determination and talent the people's islamic values their ambition determination and also their talent so it's it's based on basically on its people continuing with the question here what will cultural and entertainment pro project include again what will cultural and entertainment project include so notice the underlined words here so cultural and entertainment projects what will they include so let's see the answer here Yes, libraries, galleries, museums, and different types of events and activities. What kind of environment will Saudi Arabia, uh, will Saudi citizens live in? The Saudi citizens, what kind of environment they'll be living in? And you can scan or look for the word environment here. So, yes, let's see the answer here. Pleasant, secure, and sustainable. Pleasant, secure, and also sustainable. How will the, re, uh, the renewed business environment benefit the economy? How will the uh, renewed business environment benefit the economy? And notice the underlying words here. So the answer is, it will offer employment opportunities and attract investors. Of course, it will give employment opportunities, more jobs for people, and attract also investors. How will streamlined government services benefit business? Again, how will streamlined government services benefit business? So the answer here, when you scan the text for the underlying words here, support growth, new business sectors and partners. Again, support growth, new business sectors and partners so let's discuss what each word means in the context of the article again discuss what each word means in the context of the article so in paragraph one the word significant the word significant what is significant in the text what does it mean the word significant what is significant in the text in paragraph one and what does significant mean so let's see the answer here. So what is significant to the text? Wealth of natural resources. What does it mean? It means very important. When something is significant, it means it's very important. Also paragraph one, the word potential. Par uh, paragraph one, the word potential. What kind of potential? What does it mean in this context? In this context, what does potential mean? Can you give some examples which areas might develop? So potential, what kind of potential if you look for it in paragraph one? So the answer here is what kind of potential? Limitless potential for development. What does it mean in this context? In this context, what does it mean? Let's see the answer here. Non-ending ability to grow and to develop. Non-ending ability to grow and to develop. Can you give some examples which areas might develop? Give some examples, of course, from the text of what areas that might develop. Let's see the answer here. Business, education, uh, production, science, scientific research, environmental project, and so on, etc., etc. In paragraph two, the word accommodate. 
What does accommodate people refer to here? What does accommodate people refer to here? The word academy, uh, uh, accommodate in paragraph two. So, provide a place to stay, cater for uh, the needs of the visitors. Pro of course, accommodation is to uh, live someplace, to provide a place to stay, this is accommodate, and also to cater for the needs of the visitors. In paragraph three, the word cultivate. What does cultiv cultivate, uh, how, wh what does cultivated children mean? The word cultivate in paragraph three, what does cultivate its children mean? So if you look in paragraph three, it says cultivate its children, nurture and cultivate its children. So what does cultivate its children mean in paragraph three? So let's see the answer here, to devote time, uh, thought and attention to developing the right attitudes and values for the children, of course. In paragraph four, the word sustainable, what does sustainable mean here? Can you suggest some factors that would make an environment uh, sustainable? So the first question, paragraph four, the word sustainable, what does sustainable mean here? In paragraph four, can you know the answer here? Let's see the correct answer. An environment with good, uh, a good environmentally correct condition that can be maintained for a long period of time. Again, the environment with good environmentally correct conditions that can be maintained, this is sustainable, can be maintained for a long period of time. Can you suggest some factors that would make an environment sustainable? Some factors that would make an environment sustainable. Try to, to, try to suggest some factors. For example, trees, plants, water, uh, parks, community services, playgrounds, etc. In paragraph seven, the word assets. What's the meaning of assets in this context? Advantages or property. So, what's the meaning of, the, uh, of assets in this context in paragraph seven? Advantages or property. So, the answer here is, of course, property of certain value. So, asset here is property of a certain value. Paragraph eight, the word hub. What do you think a leading business hub involves? What happens there? The word hub, the center. What do you think the le a leading business hub involves? What do you think it involves, a leading business hub involves? What happens there? So in paragraph eight, the word hub. Look at the eighth uh, paragraph for the word hub and try to guess here, what do you think the leading business hub involves? So let's see the answer here. One of the top uh, centers of international business that many enterprises use to conduct operations. So this is uh, what do you think of a leading business hub involves to be one of the top centers of international business that many enterprises use to conduct operations. The after reading questions here, number one, what are the main strengths of, this, uh, of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia? What are the main strengths of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia? So the answer is, yes, the Kingdom's wealth of natural resources, its Islamic family-oriented society, its uh, strategic position and opportunities for economic growth. Number two, what kind of support is necessary for the Kingdom's society to prepare for 2030? Again, what kind of support is necessary for the Kingdom's society to prepare for 2030? So what kind of support is necessary here? Try to guess here. Let's see the correct answer. The Saudi society needs to be supported by social health care and educational systems that will help it raise its children in the best way possible to prepare them for the future, as written in the article. Number three, what types of events and uh, activities will be available for citizens? What types of events and activities will be available for citizens? So the answer here is cultural and entertainment events, 
libraries, galleries, museums, community projects, so all sorts of events and activities. Question four, how will the educational system differ compared to the past? How will the educational system differ, be different from the past? So the correct answer here is the educational system will be updated to provide high quality learning and develop available talent and potential. It will provide the knowledge and skills required by the job market. Number five, in what way will the kingdom's geographical position affect its role in international trade? Geographical position affects its role in international trade. If you remember, we said the kingdom has a strategic position. So let's see the answer here. The, ki the kingdom's position connects the waterways of three continents. This is strategic position here. Europe, Africa, and Asia. This gives it a unique advantage as a trading and transport hub. Which factors will affect investment opportunities? Which factors will affect investment opportunities? Factors include A, streamlined government services that encourage the setting, of, of, uh, the setting up of new businesses and the creation of new business sectors. And B, the privatization of the state-owned asset and agencies. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahum wa bihamdik. Ashadu la la anta astaghfirik wa tubu alaik. Assalamu alaikum.